Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something that I haven't done in a long time because I've been lazy and it's been my Ayurvedic type of wash day. I used to incorporate a lot of different herbs into my routine, a lot of Ayurvedic herbs. I used to apply henna to my hair. But it's been a while since I've done like a full wash day from start to finish using just Ayurvedic, you know, clay washes and herbal teas and whatnot. So I wanted to treat myself and my hair to a nice Ayurvedic treatment like I used to do in the old days. And if you guys want to see it, then just keep on watching. I wanted to start off by giving myself a scalp massage. These are so underrated, but work so well at promoting growth by way of increasing blood flow and oxygen to your follicles. And it just feels relaxing, so why not treat yourself to a couple minutes of a good massage, right? Making sure that every nook and cranny gets some TLC and also paying attention to not overdo it around my hairline because you know I gotta save these edges. I've been using this tea for a while. It has a lot of great herbs that are beneficial for your hair and scalp. If you are unfamiliar with tea rinses or just applying tea to your hair or your scalp, it's supposed to help reduce excess shedding and to relieve a dry and irritated scalp. So that's what I use it for. It also has a lot of different purposes. You can use it as a leave-in spray, but today I'm using it to dampen my strands to help release any shed hair that has collected um, during the week. Doing this now helps reduce the amount of tangling later on in my wash day routine. I will leave the link to this hair tea company down below. It's black owned and it has worked to reduce the amount of shedding. So I recommend it. And I also love the herbs that are in it as well. Now that the tea is in my hair and my scalp, I'm going to make a conditioning treatment. Lately, I've been conditioning my hair before cleansing it and then I follow up with a deep conditioner. But of course, do whatever works for you. I'm using just a regular regular conditioner and adding some of my favorite powdered herbs, hibiscus, bamboo, and amla. I apply this treatment from ends to root, just making sure that my hair soaks up all the goodness and reaps all the benefits. If I felt like my hair was starting to get dry or it needed some more moisture and water, then I just spritzed it with the hair tea so that my hair can be more pliable and the conditioner can slip through the way I like it to. So I've had this in my hair for like 20 minutes. I'm ready to wash it out. I feel like it's been long enough. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this right over the sink. Hopefully it's not too messy. I think it's gonna be fine though. So I wanted to come back on and show you what my hair is looking like. And my hair feels super soft and hydrated. Um, let me come closer. Curls are popping, curls are soft. 
I'm happy with it. My curls are clumped. Feels really good. So now I'm going to put my hair back into sections so I can do the Rasool clay wash. I had a couple clumps in my hair and I was worried that they weren't going to rinse out as easy, but it was fine. So I had some extra tea left over and I decided to use this for my Rasool clay instead of using plain water, but it's totally up to you. You can use water as well. I just wanted to use this extra tea that I had. Rasool clay is rich in minerals that nourish and condition the hair. It treats dryness, itchiness, dandruff because it balances the natural oil production on the scalp. It clears out clogged pores. It also moisturizes and softens while also cleansing the hair without leaving it stripped, which is what I love about it. It also helps to improve curl definition and elasticity, and it reduces frizz. <laughs> so I make sure to apply this treatment from the roots to my ends to make sure that I'm reaping all these benefits because I need my scalp to be treated as well as my hair. I figured that this was a good time to do a wash because my hair isn't like terribly dirty but it needs to be washed so it wasn't like ready for a shampoo per se but I needed some sort of cleanse so this was the perfect time get these sideburns So I finished applying the Rasool Clay all throughout my hair. This is what it's looking like. It's not hard. I don't think I have to wait till it gets hard to rinse out, but my curls are defined. I was able to really get in there and scrub. It felt so good. So in a couple minutes, I'm going to rinse this out and I'll come back to show y'all what my curls are looking like before I deep condition. My hair is so defined right now, it kind of makes me want to do a wash and go, but like, I don't know. I don't feel like experimenting today. <laughs> I just want to do my regular routine and keep it pushing. Ain't nobody got time. <laughs> just as expected, curls are defined. I definitely can't go straight into styling though because my hair needs some more moisture <laughs> so at this point i'm going to close out this video that was it for my whole ayurvedic wash day routine i'm just going to finish up my hair with my regular deep conditioning routine in the shower if you aren't subscribed yet that subscribe button is waiting right down below yeah i don't have anything else to say except thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye